<laughs> oh, like here. Simply Alex over here. And today we're doing a discussion and review of the new Forbidden or Banned list March 2017. Wow. Can you believe Yu-Gi-Oh's been out for 15 years? 15 years. 15 years. Jeez. I started back in 2002 when I was 10 years old. Uh, that means I was 9. Yeah, did you play in 2002 well, though? I collected. <laughs> I collected. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy bought me some cards. <laughs> I uh, religiously watched the show. Oh shoot, I did that too. Every morning I would wake up and it was Saturday morning. Did you ever try to duel the, against, against the people in the yeah. show? Yeah. No. No. Oh. That was just you. <laughs> Bag me up. Bag me Bag up. Me you guys up. got me. <laughs> but no, you know what I would do Can't is I would I would turn the show on full volume. Mm -hmm. Full volume. Full volume. Full volume. <laughs> full volume. <laughs> in my house. I would turn it all the way up. Because I knew it was coming. It'd be like, you know, the end of Static Shock before whatever. Shoot, Static whatever. Shock. The, yeah, this is this is a West Coast show, so I don't know what, you know, what it was for everyone else. But anyways, uh, so I would turn up full volume and I knew the show was coming. I'd be like, you know, the Egyptian. Uh, it's time to do, 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 do. My mom would like run out. What the hell? Is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I'm watching you get on mom. <laughs> so, get on my back. Yeah. And then like 10 years later. Oh baby! Oh baby! She's still saying, "What the hell is going on?" Why are you still playing Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> but okay, okay. Back, back to the video here. So, the the, the band list. Um, you guys would be like, "Oh, simply look, he's doing a doing a meta video, meta, meta, and um, meta, 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 <laughs> meta bot, <laughs> and, and meta bots." <laughs> And um, and so um, I'm not currently playing in tournaments right now because I don't have the time to do that because I'm doing a lot of full time things that's taking my full amount of time. <laughs> and so and so it's I very do circular full time <laughs> things take your full amount of time. So so we I have I have spoken with and uh, talked with other people that are playing a lot in this current format. And uh, so I do understand what's going on with this new ban list, but I do want to take a different approach. Um, first off, I have Alex here. That always makes things more fun. He's like, yeah, meta player here. And, <laughs> and uh, meta player since 02. 02, baby. What's up? And, um, but no, I'm going to take a different approach because I wasn't fully sure of all the new erratas coming out. And um, that's what I want to take with this video. I know a lot of other people that have been releasing the new bandless videos haven't really talked about that. And so I want to talk about that with you guys because that's cool for me and for other people like Alex here with the nostalgic classic cards. You know, they're changing. They're bringing them back into the format. They're erratas. And so, uh, that's what I want to do with this video. Yeah, there are a few sets where I played pretty seriously. Yeah, and one of them in this in this video, as you'll see as we're going through this, is Future Fusion. And Alex was all about that. You know? I did play Chaos Dragon. And I don't think you've seen most of this ban list yet, actually. So uh, this be fun. no, glanced over it. Yeah, it was, it was a glance. It was, okay. It was a glance. So starting off here, we have the March Forbidden list. And it, uh, we have Magispector Unicorn, Kieran. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chaos Emperor Dragon? Is on the ban list. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> He's still forbidden. <laughs> He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, uh, Kieran, you know, you know, Kieran does. Okay, okay. I, I see it now. Okay. Uh, Kieran does, what does Kieran do? Okay. It's a, it's a pendulum. It's a pendulum monster, and it was just, it's really, it's a really annoying pendulum monster because it, it's just so easy to bring out and pendulum summon all the time, and it's just very cheap, and I think it's quick effect too, and so it's just, it makes it way too broken or way too complicated to really deal with, and I think it's a card that deserved to be banned. And um, that's actually one of the reasons I didn't like playing in current meta was because of pendulum decks that would use that card. So pendulums are pretty annoying. Yes, uh, but there are there are going to get obliterated with link summoning, and uh, but yeah, we already talked about link summoning before. They're coming out with more and more information on that, but we'll make a video maybe once they have it all out and ready for us to talk about. So, anyways, Kieran is banned. Um, they have the Tyrant Neptune. Do you know what that is? No idea. Who I is think, the Tyrant Neptune? I think he actually, I'm trying to remember where he came from, and I think it might have been like a tin or something in like the 5Ds Jeez. era. I'm trying to remember. I don't know if That's you guys pretty old card. You guys might know. I don't think he's from a core set. Maybe. So, no, hold no. on. Uh, he is now on the ban list, right? Right. So, new, okay. new, and this is where in the from Forbidden area. Right, this right, is right. limited is traditional, Got as it. you can see up there. Um, so, yeah, Tyrant Neptune, they banned this guy because they're releasing a new future fusion. Monster, and so they didn't want to ban Future Fusion. Okay, not Future Fusion. Sorry, what am I doing wrong here? Instant Fusion. There we go. Instant Fusion Monster. So yeah. he's a, there's a new Instant Fusion Monster coming out, and the Tyrant Neptune copies like effects of the monsters that use to tribute it. And so this this Instant Fusion Monster says that the cards this card gains 500 attack for the amount of stars 
free star it has. Hmm. And Tyrant Neptune's like 10 stars. Yeah, I'll probably put Tyrant Neptune up on the screen for you guys or something. But either way, so he's so a, a 5,000 attack monster for attributing this, wow. this instant fusion monster. So you get a 5,000 monster just for one tribute. And I believe, I don't have it up for me right here, but uh, I believe it huh. deals 500 damage once per turn or something like that to your opponent directly for each star. Yeah, so he's just a 5k burn. 5k burn. <laughs> That's awesome. Insanity. And so... That would be fun. That would be fun. And I don't know if the deck's actually good enough where you'd want to ban Tyrant Neptune, but you could just limit him, right? I think that could have limited it, and somebody could just have fun playing the deck. Well, I mean, is there anything that would search him out? Maybe. I don't think so. That's why... I, okay. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, because 10-star monsters, I'm trying to think. Like. But you guys could probably think of something. Somebody would probably think of something eventually. But I yeah. think just one would have been fun. Just like you're playing against this guy, and all of a sudden... Boom! Five thousand damage. Let me just side that and deck this in. <laughs> yeah, that'd be that'd be funny. But anyway, so that's why that guy's banned. Um, so then we have. I'd be pissed if that happened, dude. You played Future Fusion. Every time you put that card <laughs> down when that card was legal, I just cried. You played in Zectors. That's true. That was funny. <laughs> you were just as annoying as I was. <laughs> Man, these empty. Insectors were good too. I mean, I almost oh, top chaos that dragons were good. Oh. They were really good. All right, Vanny's right. <laughs> Vanny's emptiness is banned. Um, this is a card that just stops you from playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Anything that's so royal oppression type card. Anything that stops you. It's an oppression type card. See, it oppresses. Um, anything that stops you from playing. Yeah. Anything that stops you from playing Yu-Gi-Oh should really get banned. And Vanny's emptiness, I think. Should have been banned a while ago. It's just kind of, you know, they limited it to one when they probably should have just, you know, banned it then. So, um, but yeah, it stops you from doing stuff and it stops you from playing the game. And that's not fun. That's not, that's not a good thing to get do. Get rid of it. Yeah. Should bring Pot of Greed back. That'd be more fun than that. Uh, I, what is, I still do? don't know what it does. I think it allows you to draw one card. If you guys could just put in the comments what Pot of Greed does. Oh, it might be. No, we're just really, really confused. I think once per turn, you can only use it once per turn though. And it's draw two cards. You know? Is it continuous? I, I can't remember now. All right, so <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> Continuous pot of greed. <laughs> then we have Max C. Um, people are probably going to disagree with me on Max C, but I never really like Max C, other than the fact that it has my middle name in it. Because my middle name is Max. Max. Yeah. yeah. So, there you but go. but uh, I understand that it stops these really broken cards and makes your opponent think about what they're doing and not just blow their load in two seconds for you. You know, just obliterate your face. Um, but how about you don't make decks that do that so we don't have to have a max C? I get it, you guys are probably thinking six Samurai and three gateways or something, but seriously, you know, like, you, we shouldn't have to have a card like max C be so viable in the format. Yeah. That's, that's what that's what I would think anyways. So maybe- So what is it, drop max C before they go off on Pendulum Summoning and- And then before they, well, Pendulum Summoning isn't the thing anymore, but just like, yeah, Special Summoning, uh, five monsters with Infernities, with a Zoo, uh, Studio, you know, same, it's all the same thing. And that's this format. So hopefully they figure so it he's, out. He's down to one. Yeah, he's down to one. Now Rescue Rabbit is back. So now if Alex or saw this, yeah, he's like, rescue, what? Oh wait, Rescue Cat. Sorry. Yeah, Rescue Cat. Rescue, rescue cat. Rabbit's at one. So Alex, like, when he was when he's first seen this, he's like, oh, Rescue Cat's back. And maybe a lot of you nostalgia players are like, whoa, Rescue Cat. No. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's it's now a little different though. Oh, it's dude. still not bad though. Um, I believe the Erratas is on this guy is once per turn. So we're gonna talk about the Erratas here. So a Rescue Cat. The only reason it's getting brought back is because of its Errata, and mm -hmm. it's now once per turn. It's still it's well, a little bad. It's it's good. Is Rescue Rabbit once per turn? I think it might be. I don't know. Rescue Rabbit is really annoying. Yeah. Well, Rescue Cat is also annoying, and there is some decks that can use it, and I think it'll be really good for Link Summoning, and so it'll make maybe cards that weren't viable before more viable. So there is Rescue Cat. So that's the Errata on that. Um, we'll actually go check out an Errata page here in a minute once I get a little further down. So Bri uh, Brionic Dragon of the Ice Barrier. That's sick. Yeah, so you would think, so and then we'll just go to Magics real quick. Um, as you can see, uh, Future Fusion is also here. And just from a classic player's view, that's like, what is happening right now? Like really? um, immediately, yeah, immediately I knew something was up. I, I see brain controls there too. You guys are like, what? Brain control too? Uh, but anyways. Uh, Brionic and Future Fusion was actually one of the combos back back when that was going on. Mm -hmm. It wasn't wasn't like I think Heroes and Dragons were, were abusing that hardcore. You would go you go Brionic, you would go Future Fusion. This uh, Hero guy, Brionic bounce, Future Fusion bounce, Summon Monster, Summon Monster, Summon Monster, fuse, fuse, fuse. It was just like instant mm -hmm. five Fusion monsters on the field. 
Dragons, same concept, more like painful choice three times. <laughs> and get get the dragon, get uh, five different dragons out. It was just insanity. Was, yeah, and but, then if they don't get rid of Future Fusion, you just get five-headed dragon. Later on if you want. But that's, if you wanted. But dragons could almost do that off of just Future Fusion itself. It doesn't yeah. even need the Brionic to replay it. But it, it just makes it even better. So anyways, yeah, that's Future Fusion and Brionic coming back seems crazy, but this is what's changed. The errata on... Brionic is, uh, Bri I always want to say that different ways. I'm just gonna say Brionic. Um, it is once per turn. And so you used to be able to ditch, you know, different cards as many as you want, you know, as many times during your turn. But now it's once per turn and also it's opponent's cards. Ooh. So you can't bounce your own stuff but, to combo. Right. And so I'm not sure how they're going to do this because I don't think an errata has been made of these cards yet. And so just huh. to talk about Future Fusion real quick. The Future Fusion now is, this one was interesting, right? This was like... Future Fusion, and it makes sense too, kind of. That's the cool yeah. part. And so, Future Fusion... This is one they slowed down. Crazy, they slowed right? down, yeah. So, it used to be you would just get all your monsters, throw them in the grave, right? Right away, you'd be like, uh, choose five god dragon, five headed dragon, whatever his name is. Uh, throw five monsters in the grave right away. But mm -hmm. now, it's on that first standby phase, your next standby phase. And then, the second standby, it's summoned. So, when you play Future Fusion now, it doesn't do anything right away. You have to wait for that first standby to come around. Which gives them the opportunity to get rid of it. Oh, you can get rid of it. You can they can just ignore it and try to kill you next turn. Yeah, like, but the, the whole the reason <laughs> it was the so good. Yes, yeah, the reason it was so good was for because it was the painful choice, right, right away. And that's just that was so good. And so now it doesn't do that anymore. But I mean, if it stays there and it comes around, that's still good. You get those five dragons in the grave. You can get your heroes in the grave. But how do you protect it? And then, yeah, you, how do you, that's a good point. You put magical defend, deflection counter on it or whatever the <laughs> heck that card is from, from I don't know, Dark oh, Crisis man. or Invasion of Chaos. I don't even remember. Yeah, but yeah. Protecting monsters is, is pretty easy. Yeah, protecting. But. Well, you would have to, you would have to have like magic jammers or something, some sort of way to stop cards from destroying stuff. It, yeah. it just, it can't really happen. You can't play cards like that in your main deck. But yeah. So the errata made it not as viable. Right. So people are like, whatever. Brain control, same concept. Man, they really hurt this one though. Um, you can only use it. So pay 800, uh, take control of the face-up card. Mm -hmm. Only if it can be normal summoned, I think, or set. Ooh. Yeah. And there's so much special summoning in there. That's game. so dirty. Yeah, yeah, that was dirty. I would think maybe like pay 2,000 or something. Take control. It's still, it might still be too good if it was that. But pay two. Pay just pay more life points in order to take something. But yeah. With how fast the format is, people are willing to pay the... They'll pay whatever, yeah. yeah. So, I guess that might be still too good, but just... Well, that, I mean, that hurts. Solemn Judgment was pay half, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. People were running that all day. Brain control, pay half your life, boys, take control. Ooh, one face up monster. I would do it. You would do it? I would do it. <laughs> I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> Brain control. But yeah, so it has to be able to be normal summoner set, and... Um, is that it? Oh, here's the big one, you guys. So, Imperial Order actually nice. came back to limited and dude when i saw this i was like pulling but, out all those old imperial orders yeah pulling out all the imperial oh here we go dun 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 we just happen to have it out here oh look at how pretty that first is. edition mint condition imperial order imperial order <laughs> okay um we actually pulled that on video and from one of our psv boxes sweet so if you guys want to go check out simply unlucky's videos all psv videos You'll find Imperial Order in Jiznos. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so Imperial Order is back. Uh, some of you guys are like, dude, that's crazy. Everyone's just going to take out their uh, vanities, emptinesses and replace Imperial Orders because everyone needs to play you know, Imperial Order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't think there's so. There's an errata. Yeah, there's an errata, but it's not that bad. So the new thing about Imperial Order is, I don't know if you could ever choose to pay the life points. I don't think you could. Can, didn't you have to leave it out before too? Mm. Back in the day, dude, this is so long. This is like two thousand. Dude, we have the card right there. Yeah, I know, but it's like I don't know if they changed it after. You know, uh, printed so many times. This could so, be like the second or third ride. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how many times they changed the card. They anyways, really like it, but they just can't get it right. Right. So what they did for Imperial Order is, is you have to pay the life points. You have to pay it every turn. I don't know if that's new. I think you had to do it before, but I get confused. And now you have to pay the seven hundred. Every standby phase, yours and your opponent's. That's fourteen hundred a turn. I don't know if I would do that. You gotta win fast. I think I'd do it. Yeah, dude. I think it stops pendulums. Ooh, because pendulums are spells. So, oh. so you can't put the pendulum uh, in zone. What are they called? The pendulum sides. The. All right. You can't put the pendulum. Mm. <laughs> 
You may, can't make the pendulum one and the pendulum eight. All right. Why can't I remember the same word right now? Right. The red crystal, the blue crystal. The blue crystal. crystal. And, uh, you know, the the swing and the, the, the swung. <laughs> I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to know it right after this video ends. Okay, anyways. Um, so, yeah, it stops pendulums, I, I believe. And it just it's really good still. So... Uh, if you're not playing many spells or you use it at the right time, just kind of how Vanity's Emptiness and Royal Oppression ones use, I think it'd still be viable. So, yeah, definitely side deck against pendulums. If the way I'm thinking it works is, is the way it works. Yeah. So, but 700 a turn, it's 14 for a whole Ooh. turn. So, that's 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 costly. That is costly, but I, I think that. it wins games. Just like we just said, you pay half your life for brain control. That's true. I think you pay 1400 a few times to yeah. stop your opponent from playing the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, especially if they're playing pendulums. But I mean, the thing with like pay half your life is that's that's a one time cost. This is an investment, right? Know? This this is putting yourself on the clock. It is, but if <laughs> it, you don't have to pay it if you're gonna lose, it says it, if you can't. Pay oh, it, okay, yeah, okay, if you okay. Pay it goes great. So it's not a death clock, but it is. Okay. It is. But if you think about it that way, that's it's not bad. I yeah. think it's still good. Yeah. So pure order. Um, if you guys go check out like the market prices on this thing, it's flying in the sky. So if somebody actually plays this, I think it's definitely gonna be side deck. But I think this first edition secret rare version will for sure be very very valuable. Like worth, I'm thinking like forty plus. Wow. If so, if it actually makes it into main decks, I'm thinking fifty. <laughs> oh. Maybe fifty or sixty. You guys have some just laying around because we're gonna be talking like super bottomless status. Because at that point, because oh, that's pretty yeah. hard. Yeah, that is pretty hard. Because this is really pretty. I mean, first edition secret is nice. Yeah, it is. Um, all right. <clears throat> I like how we're just talking about formats. <laughs> so uh, to semi-limited, this is a short list now. Um, so we have Wisdom Eye Magician. Um, cool. They, had, they brought that back to semi-limited to help out because they limited the Kirin, I believe. Hmm. Or banned the Kirin. And then Zodiac Ret Pier. Um, this is their attempt, I think, to slow down Zodiac cards. Um, so but just semi-limit one. Some I don't I don't know I believe they want you know the point you can't they can't just get rid of a deck that they are releasing at the moment in in new right, packs right. so the point you need to spend money still on their cards you know they can't just be like yeah oh you you want Zodiacs but we're actually gonna you know limit all the cards in the deck and because it's too good and so now no one's gonna buy these packs you know they, that's not a very good marketing model and you can't blame Konami for doing that but at the same time if we just kind of you kept an even line. Yeah, yeah. No, if you just kept like a red line in the sand or whatever, red <laughs> line there, just don't make the decks too overpowered. And mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like we could do a little better with the format. But it's 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 whatever. Zodiacs, yeah, they're still broken. Um, interrupted Kaiju Slumber. It's funny that they did this. Because have you ever seen a Kaiju deck actually <laughs> win something? I don't I have it personally. Maybe you guys have. Um, so I think they did this just because Kaiju as an engine is really strong to be like side decked and put into different decks to slow down certain other decks and so it's it's more of a so the archetype by itself isn't good not so bueno but when you uh when, when you combine it yeah when you side it in or just put it in a deck yeah it's yeah it's pretty good because it's it's really good at stopping certain other decks so anyways that's why they did that to kaiju but yeah um and then sangan hey. is no longer on the list and so here just as we're doing that um did i cover did i get everything yeah so we'll just go to check out this this is the january 1st Erratas and Erratas. Erratas. Erratas, yeah. Never, and I haven't talked about this, so just this is kind of what happened in the OCG. And so what I think they're going to do, you guys, is um, they're going to release Duelist Saga. And if you guys haven't heard of that, have you heard of that? I have. You have, okay. Yeah. Um, it's, supposed to be a really, it's supposed to be a really cool reprint pack. Just a really cool rarities of awesome classic cards. And oh. so I think in this set, they're going to come out with all the new Erratas. That's the perfect time for them to do it, yeah. Exactly. And so that would be my guess. And uh, Pick up your new Brios and your new Your new Brios, fusions. Brain Controls, Future Fusions. And I'm guessing they might they might put Ultimate Rares in there. Ooh. Quote me on that, you guys. Just remember Ultimate Rares in the Duelist Saga. Well, yeah. Right to Konami. Why aren't there Ultimate Rares <laughs> yeah. in, in this box? If they were lucky, said they were. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you guys can see here, um, I, this is the uh, UG, YGO organization page, and you guys can find this pretty easily. Um, but yeah, so new erratas, and so they have it all here. Brain Control, like I said, Normal Sum Set, Future Fusion, First Standby, and then Pure Order, 700 on both each player's, each player's standby. Cool. Goyo Guardians, now Earth. Goyo Garden is not banned for us anyways, right? Uh, I don't, don't know. I don't think so. We're not going to sit here and look for it. But yeah. Um, and then Brionic is um, once per turn, and then your opponent controls. Hmm. 
And yeah, rescue cat once per turn. So. Nice. Yeah, very, very interesting. I just, I think it's really cool that they're bringing back these classic cards to play with. But overall, um, the general consensus on this ban list is it doesn't do much for the format uh, because so a lot of players, are a lot of a lot of meta players, right now are very irritated because um, there's cards like Dimensional Barrier and uh, it, where people are playing three of this card and Solemn Strike. Have you heard? You've heard? I haven't heard of Solemn Strike now. Solemn Strike. It's a classic. See, that's how long this guy hasn't played in the format. Um, Solemn Strike and Dimensional Barrier. I mean, if you start the game with these two cards face down, they're both at three right now, and they're both still at three, and you're playing Zodiax or Inferno, any deck that can go off if you can just stop your opponent, these two cards will just stop you from summoning and stop you and stop your effects from happening. So, so it's like flip one, flip the other one, end your turn. Yeah, well, Dimensional Barrier says you can't special summon a certain type of monster, so it stops a deck. Oh. You can stop a certain type of monster being played, and then, yeah, um, Solemn Strike will stop effects. So it's just like, this is, those two cards are too good. Yeah, those two cards should have been limited to one and one or hmm. semi limit or something and that's my opinion on that but i think that's what most uh, players in the format are thinking too because it's just ridiculous that's not playing Yu-Gi-Oh. that's the whole point of a ban list is yeah, yeah. to let Yu Gi Oh be played you know even if you have a broken format where everything is going off in two or three turns at least don't let your opponent sit there and just watch your opponent walk all over them you know that's not fun yeah so they got a lucky five card opening draw for lucky five card opening they went first <clears throat> they played dimensional barrier and saw strike face down you're just like Fun game. Yeah, good game. GG. I'll do it again. It happens again. Oh, GG. Oh, wait. It, it happened to you that next, next game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, Stratos did not come back. Bring back Stratos. Didn't happen. Hashtag bring back Stratos. I think it happened for the OCG, too. I, I, don't, want, I don't feel like looking huh. up right now. But yeah, Stratos, I think, was limited to two. Or limited to one. Came back from the forbidden list. So they didn't bring back Stratos, either. Hashtag what was Konami thinking? But I do, I do, I do like all of these other cards. Um, the, the erratas, the erratas. I, I, I think that's really cool. So definitely. So hopefully you guys learned something from this video. And Alex, did you learn something? Uh, I think I'm going to be skipping out in another format. <laughs> <laughs> but we could, you could legally play your future fusion. I again, could, and that might actually be kind of fun. Yeah, until you get twin twistered and they destroy two cards on your side of the field, including your future fusion. And he's like, I'll, what's, I'll just what's that one card? Yeah, he's like, what's Twin Twister? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, so uh, hey, hopefully it you destroys guys... two cards on my side of the field, right? <laughs> I mean... And so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And please, you guys, remember to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. And I would kind of put up different cards on the screen, but the erratas, I don't think, have been done in English yet. So maybe I'll just throw up whatever cards just to note you so you guys know what I'm talking about when I when I mention it. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe for some more epic Yu-Gi-Oh's. Yu -Gi -Oh's. And thanks again to Alex. Thanks for, for having me, guys. For being here for this epic forbidden, forbidden ban list discussion. And simply, oh, lucky. Simply Alex. Signing out.